everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about logarithmic functions. We can call them log functions. A log function is just the inverse of an exponential function. I put an example here of an exponential function. And recall with inverses, you just switch around the x and y. And it would be x equal to 10 to the y. All right? Yeah. This relationship right here. But the only thing is, can you imagine trying to solve for y? Yeah, you can't. So this is written as y equal to log base 10 of x. All right? This represents this relationship right here, all right? Where y is written as a function of x. So that's what a log is. And you'll notice log base 10. 10 is the common log, all right? So a lot of times this 10 will be invisible. If you don't see anything underneath that log of x, the base is a 10, all right? Base 10 is the common log. So I just want to point that out. Let's do some examples so we can get used to this relationship here. All right, this relationship of what y equal to log base b of some x can be. So, how about, let's say we have log base 2 of 8 equals y. And we want to determine y. Well, according to this definition, 2 raised to this power right here must be equal to 8. I'm going to write that down. 2 to the y must equal 8. And I want 2 to the third power is 8. So, y is a 3. Yeah. Y is a 3. So what we're saying is, log base 2 of 8 is the number 3. Yeah. Here. I'll write this again. Get this all out of the way. Log base 2 of 8 equals 3 because 2 to the third power equals 8. Let's do another one. How about log base 6 of 6? Here, think. 6 raised to what power equals 6? Six. 6 to the first power. Yeah. Log base 10 of 100 equals some number, some value. Was well, it 10 to the second power equal to 100? This would be a 2. And everyone, because that's a 10, that may be invisible. You might not see that. So, yeah, log of 100 is 2. Base 10. Okay. So, that gives you an idea of this relationship here. Not bad. All right. Erase all this. Let's talk about the sketches of these logarithmic functions. So, how about we start with y equal to log base 10 of x. We'll sketch that. And afterwards, we'll sketch y equal to log base e of x. These graphs, everyone, remember they're the inverse of exponential functions. Exponential functions had horizontal asymptotes. These have vertical asymptotes. And this right here has a vertical asymptote right at x equal to 0. And its graph will do this. It's going to intersect one tick mark away and then slowly rise. I'm going to put an error there and put an error here. Its range is actually negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, and it's intersecting at one. You say, why? Well, log base 10 of 1 is 0. Yeah, 10 to the 0 power is 1. So that's why it's intersecting right there at the value of x equal to 1. In fact, here, I'll stretch this out a little bit. This won't take too long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What if I went out 10 notches here? This graph does not get too high. In fact, it'll only get up to the value 1. Because log base 10 of 10 is 1. Yeah, 10 to the first power is 10. So that's what this graph looks like. It slowly, slowly, slowly rises. Okay? If you recall, a log of 100 was 2. So 100 tick marks out. This graph only got as high as 2. Now, log base e of x. First of all, this isn't written this way. This is the natural base. So, this gets a special notation. This is natural log of x. 
So log base e of x is written as the natural log of x. Yeah, ln of x. But the base here is an e. So if this is invisible right here on a log, it's a 10. If there's an ln of x, there's a base e here. It's just invisible. Remember, e is 2.718281828 dot dot dot. That irrational value. Now let's make this sketch. Good news, everyone. This graph's going to look just like this. It's going to have the same vertical asymptote. All right. So I'll have to write it again. It'll intersect one tick mark away. And then it'll slowly rise. But everyone, ln of e is 1. Because if this base is e, ln base e of e is 1. So e is 2.7. So yeah, I'd be eh, close to 3, about 2.7-ish, I want this value would get up to 1. But the sketch still looks the same, okay? Yeah, at like 2.7, this is getting up to 1. It's a rough sketch. Looks basically the same. And this goes down like that. When you try to graph these on a graphing calculator, this disappears, okay? It gets so steep. So be aware of that. This really goes on and on and on forever. Right up against that vertical asymptote. And the domain, everyone, of both of these functions, based off this vertical asymptote, is from zero to infinity. Notice, I didn't close that bracket, all right? Because it never really reaches there. Yeah, that means the log of zero is undefined, okay? Yes, ln of zero is undefined, log of zero is undefined. We have a vertical asymptote there. These graphs can shift left and right. Yeah, these graphs can shift horizontally, so let's do a couple more examples. Let's make rough sketches of, how about log base 4 of x plus 1. And let's do, let's do another natural log. Natural log of x minus 1. All right, now when this causes this horizontal shift, then all we have to do is determine where is that vertical asymptote. It's all right here. What value for x makes x plus 1 equal 0? Wouldn't it be x equal to negative 1? Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So the vertical asymptote is at x equal to negative 1. Yeah, this graph shifted over here. All right? And like before, this graph will come out like this, intersect one tick mark away from that vertical asymptote, and then it'll just slowly, slowly, slowly rise. So I'm just going to put an arrow here and put my area here. You might say, well, what about that base four? All right, base four, base E, base 10. This is a rough sketch, all right? That may affect this and how high or how low it's going, but all these logarithmic graphs, they slowly, slowly rise. All right, um, let's make this sketch. Let's start with the vertical asymptote. Where is the vertical asymptote? What makes x minus 1? What x value makes x minus 1 equal 0? x equal to 1. So this vertical asymptote is now over here. Okay? And this graph will do the same, same thing. Line up right against here, intersect one tick mark away, and then basically slowly, slowly, slowly rise. Okay? So, What's the domain of each of these functions? This domain, based off this, from negative 1 to infinity, open parentheses. <laughs> and this domain is from 1 to infinity. Excuse me, 1 to infinity. That's logarithmic functions. That's it.